let's get into now um, the sort of isolation of stromal cells um, because there are potentially different ways to do this and um, and uh, we've used both of these two types of approaches in the lab. I refer to one approach as sort of the needle and syringe method, which is more the classical approach, where you actually go ahead and you, um, after isolating your, uh, typically we isolate the hind limbs, take out the tibia and femur, and then we cut the ends of the bone off, and then we'll take and we'll flush out the marrow uh, with just a, um, needle and syringe where the syringe is full of, of media and that gets flushed into a tube. And, and then we um, will strain um, that after we get it flushed um, through typically a 70 micron strainer. Um, the 40 micron strainer is probably even better. Um, one of the reasons why you strain it is because um, this process is, is pretty tough. As you can see, the the needle will go in and it will damage the trabecular bone and often you can get some bone chips um, and uh, so the straining can remove the bone chips uh, from from the culture every once in a while you'll still get a bone chip in our in the culture um, another method that we have used more frequently now and it, it's because in many ways it's easier and it works just as well if not better is sort of the centrifuge method um, where again, we take our femur and isolate it, but instead of, of cutting it on the ends, we'll actually cut the bone in the middle and then we'll invert the bone into a, a holder of, of some thing. Now, one of the things that we do a lot of DNA work in our lab and sometimes our mini prep columns basically expire. So we often will pull out um, the filter of a, of, a, um, of a mini prep column and, and stuff our bone cut bones in there. An alternative to this would be just to use a pipette tip and cut the tip of a pipette tip and uh, fill it then with uh, a couple bones and then drop it into an Eppendorf tube and, and centrifuge out the marrow. Typically when we do this, I'll add two to 300 microliters of media to the Eppendorf tube and then just centrifuge it out. And um, it's it's actually quite surprising how well this works. Um, and then again, you would have to uh, strain um, the uh, resuspend it. Basically, you'll see a nice big red pellet, um, obviously, because most of the cells in there are from the blood cells. Um, but then you resuspend it, and then you'll put it through a cell strainer as well. To view the full video of this and all of our other webinars for bioscientists at the bench, please visit bitesizebio.com slash webinars.